Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net, and in this video I will be taking a look at the Silverstore 2 Drive Network Attached Storage System. So if we begin, this is a network attached storage unit. If you don't know what that is, it is basically a little box with hard drives in which you can plug into your wireless router or network bridge and then you can connect any computers on your network remotely to this network server type thing. On here you can back up all your files, you can put files on here and share them across your network. It is enabled for Mac or PC and it also supports Time Machine which is really good indeed. This particular model comes in the box with a 2Drive NAS CD which you need to install on each computer you're going to use this on or connect to it and to set up so that's really important and it is really easy. It also includes a little quick start guide which is really good because you can set your device up really easily with ease, you don't have any problems with that, it is super easy. Also included is your power brick. The thing I really like about this is it's nice and light. It's got a little green indication light on there. And this is universal. So it comes with a European adapter and it also comes with the standard 3 pin UK adapter. So it is universal for other places. And we also have an ethernet cable here. This is a grey ethernet cable which is included and I'm not very happy with it as it's cheap, it's poor quality and quite frankly it's impossible to unplug once you've plugged it into your wireless router. I found myself having some trouble there. But it's nice to include one, better than not having one. And now let's take a look at the device itself. So if we take a close look at the device itself, this is the 2TB model, so it's a 1TB and another 1TB. You can also get other models. This is indeed the £447 model, so that is how much it will cost you. It is a premium price, but it is an absolute premium device you are getting. You can get more expensive ones. Some are priced at £859. And there, of course, you're getting larger amounts of storage. And there is, of course, the cheaper one, £179 for this device without anything else. Just no hard drives, just this device. You put your own hard drives in it. And for £171 it is, that is really excellent as you're getting a premium device. Now, this device can be enabled to support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 3, RAID 2, so you can set it up in any way. You can have it so all the data is put on this hard drive and it's then backed up and mirrored exactly the same on this hard drive, or you can have it as one large volume. If we now take a look at the hardware, down here we have two indication lights, one being the hard drive indication light, the other one being the power, and the same on the other side, we have another hard drive indication light and the network indication light. Here we have USB 3.0, which is a unique feature. You will not find USB 3.0 on many network attached storage units out there on the market at the moment. So this is one of the very few which have USB 3.0, and it is a really good feature because you can plug devices in which are USB 3.0 enabled and you can have super super fast transfer speeds which is truly excellent to see USB 3.0 there. Then you have an on and off button conveniently placed on the front I've got to say which is excellent as you don't have to be reaching down to the back of the device just to turn it on unlike some older models and some other network attached storage units. And that's just the front of the device. If we now take a look at the back, if I just spin it round like so. On the back we have a fan to keep the device cool. The fan is nice and quiet. I'll show you what it's like when it's running in just a minute. Down here we, we have the spot where you plug in the power cord. We also have the option to plug in a Kensington lock. So you can lock it to your desk or wherever you're going to have it to stop people running off with your data. We have the Ethernet connection and we also have a standard USB. This one isn't USB 3.0, it is a standard USB on the back. So that's the back. The whole thing is all encased in this nice cool aluminium case with Freecom conveniently written on both sides. It is 
designed to keep it cool so it's never going to heat up and I have found after long periods of running this it still does not heat up which is excellent I really like that the fact that it will not heat up no matter what so you don't have to worry about keeping it on all the time and of course it is low power emitting so it will not eat up the electricity so it is very efficient when it comes to clo taking out the hard drives and putting new ones in it's super super easy the quick start guide covers it very with images in full colour which is better than tons of text which is excellent and you just slip that down and you can then pull them out like so so it's really easy it's better than having a key because you just flick that little lever there and it will open it up so this is the Freecom NAS storage unit. I'm now going to show you the interface on your computer for setting it up. So here is the interface itself. This is Freecom Network Storage Assistant, which came with the disk which was in the box. It came with it, just put it into your Mac or PC, and then you can get it working straight away. As you see here, it's recognised my Freecom device on my network, and if you've got other devices, you can actually manage them from this little window and this piece of software. Below here we just have some options for server configuration, some other things like add another server to your network where you put the IP address etc and more cool stuff like that. There's also a little button which takes you onto the Freecom website just there and of course it's got Freecom written over it as it is made by Freecom. If we now just click that we want to see it in the web interface it will go and open up the web interface which you've got to log into and here's just some general information about the device it's got what it's called the capacity how much of it's getting used the ip address and some other important details like that along the right hand side here we have some different tabs advanced other ones and along the top here we have advanced tabs on this actual section so we're on the system section at the moment where all the information is we can then click other things like basic setup email setup log report and shut down and reboot which is some of the other settings and the fact that you can actually shut down and reboot this device is a cool setting so as we see here if i just click on this it shows you the device name here and it also shows you the device description. So I've just changed the device name and we can give it a better description here, a more appropriate description. And we just click submit. And it doesn't seem to want to work here because I put extra characters in. This is also the time zone, set the time, configure the time, etc. And here we just able to set up email notifications so it will send you a message when you change files etc cool stuff like that which is very useful indeed to have included and here is just a list of the status of the hard drives if they are broken if they're working and it's also got log event information so it, it logs everything when you turn it on when you turn it off if a drive fails etc and here's the shutdown and reboot feature as i mentioned earlier on which is great because you don't have to be at the computer which is connected to the drive to reboot, you can go off to another computer. Now if we just click advanced in here, we can change the password, as you see here, uh, not very interesting, you can back up, and also some other advanced setup options. Over here, if we just click network, here we get network options, some service options, etc. FTP, we can set up FTP, you can set up Apple network, home network, and we can even set up a light, an iTunes backup network. And there's just some more advanced features. Here, storage, it gives you the hard disk, it gives you hard drive 1 and 2, it gives you the status, as we see here, it's good, and it gives you the capacity, general stuff like that. Here we have volumes. Here we have SSCI information just more stuff like that, some disk information, USB disk information because you can plug a USB drive into it. If we now click on access we can create user accounts here, we've got admin account, we've got a guest account here and you can actually set what other guests and admins can access so you can set them to access maybe one directory or another directory and certain folders and files if you don't want to have access to them all which is great if you've got many people on your network and you've got business files maybe which you want to protect then there's just some of the settings like so file sharing settings etc 
and if we just go over here now and hit media so in media we can actually just change some settings about media media setup and our home server backup manager so this is under backup manager now in here we can actually set when we want it to back up if we want to set up like a time machine backup with apple computers and another cool feature is the download i really like this feature we can actually download torrents and we can download legal torrents of course and legal files from the internet which is very useful because you don't have to have a computer turned on you just click that choose file button and you select what file you want and it will then download it you just leave it you set the bandwidth you set the download limit etc and upload limit and you just leave it to it and it will download all the files you need and this is one of the unique features about this device it's got a, a service called tornado and this enables you to access it anywhere by going to http david.freecomners.com slash some other things which I'm not going to tell you so you can't access my files you do put your password in and from any computer you go to that link and you can access the online server so you can get your files you can share and you can access it from mobiles as well as you see here we can access all the directories in here and we can even play movies here I've got a video folder, some other folders, and I'm accessing this from any other computer, and it's not even have to be on my network. In here I've just got some music, some TV folders, etc. Just some interesting stuff, which I can set people, of course, user accounts again, other people can log on from another computer, and we can view them in different ways. If we just head over to settings, it's all status information about the drive, some update information, etc. All very basic stuff, which you won't really have to change from another computer. As it's not really necessary if you want to do settings changes, you do it all on your network. The great thing about this, you can access this from anywhere in the world. You just change recent activity, some account information, etc. Just more basic settings. Installed applications, you can have an explorer installed, you can have other applications installed. And you can also upload files onto it and share them. So it's very much like a shared drive, but a personal Dropbox, which is two terabytes big, for example. And of course, again, you can go to david.freecommerce and you will have your own when you set up this. And you can just head over to that link, you can give it to a friend, whoever you want, give them a guest admin, guest account, and they can access these files. So here we are back now out of Tornado, back into the system, and this is really a great piece of software and setup. Anyone can use it, it's very simple, there is advanced features for people who are more advanced at this stuff, and if you've only got basic usage, this is great. So let's take a look now back at the actual hardware. So this has been a full review of the Freecom network storage system, the 2 terabyte version. This is great, you can get a great price range, it's very affordable, and it does a great job at what it does. I'd say it's one of the higher end models, and it's one of the more premium services you get, as opposed to others on the market. For more technology content, please head over to theworldoftech.net, and until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.